Hello, my name is Brina and I am going to show you how to accomplish a going out look, kind of smoky eye situation. If you're interested in watching and interested in how to accomplish this look, please keep watching and like and comment below. I don't really know what that does, but... So to start, I always prime my face and I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock Primer. I love it. I just started using it. And by the way, all the products that I'm using, I am obsessed with. It's what I always use because I can't afford to buy anything else. <laughs> Sorry, I got nervous. Um, this is my first makeup tutorial, but no one cares. And just mostly on my T-spots I do it. Okay, next thing that I'm using is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I really like this one. So I just, I always use a beauty blender. So this is from Real Techniques. And I always put it on my hand too. I don't like to put a ton of foundation on my face because I don't like looking cakey. And I like to put it on my eyes too so that I can prime them for doing eyeshadow later. You guys, please invest in a beauty blender. I have gotten so many compliments after I switched from using a brush to a beauty blender or even like using the brush if you like the brush and then using a beauty blender over makes the biggest difference in your skin. It's just, oh my God, so smooth, so nice. And don't forget, to get down on that neck girl or guy whoever's watching this and then ears too i like to tap out under my eye like nothing on just the same thing that i was using so to get rid of all the creases and then i take my laura mercier powder you can take any setting powder and literally i just take the tiniest bit and i'm just like and my mom just called me, so it cut out the video, but I hung up on that because that's annoying. Anyway, smile lines, so go like that. Like, wherever you think you're going to crease, that's where you're going to put this powder. Now... I love my powders, so I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury powder, and I am using this E3 brush. This stuff just makes you look airbrushed. It's honestly amazing. I have gotten so many compliments after I started using this powder too. I also got this for my roommate's birthday from freshman year, and she loves it. This is in medium and now let's move on to bronzer this is the bare mill <laughs> bare minerals bronzer in the color warmth so i just take it's kind of comes in this form which is kind of annoying we'll pour it in and then like a kind of a lot will get on there and i just like tap it off barely any in there it's like just like the tiniest whatever on the cap, but I have like a natural line right here. It kind of comes from like the top of your ear down. Like you can even take a pencil and kind of form that for yourself. And what you're gonna do, you're just gonna go in circular motions. I always start in the middle of your cheek area and I slowly do circular motions upwards. You see, oh yes. And this like really frames your face. And you're gonna go up towards your forehead area. Blend till you drop dead and your arm wants to fall off of your body and crawl away from you. Whatever, keep going, keep going. And I always go under too. So I have less of a double chin. Do as much as you want. You know what, go ham. You're your own girl. You're your own man. Like, make yourself, just make sure you feel flawless. That's my one piece of advice. 
So I also take like kind of a fluffy brush. I don't even know where this is from. It's just a random fluffy brush. And I just go around and I blend. I want it to look flawless and I want you guys to look flawless. <laughs> so. Anastasia Contour Kit. I use this brush from MAC. It's real horse hair. I take this color right here. Okay. We're just going to go like this a little. I literally, I use the lightest hand on my face. I feel like I see some people literally taking their foundation brush, their powder brushes, and going to town. This is your face. It is a sacred palette. Treat it like that. When I'm doing my contour, I just do it on the line, the line that we talked about earlier, the pencil line. Also, sometimes I take the just the powder brush or my bronzer brush with nothing on it and I put it on my cheeks. I don't know, I feel like it's weird when this part of your face is like super pale blush. I mix these two colors and this is just a random elf palette. It's a blush palette and I literally, I think I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. I really love it. I'm obsessed. Then I use this random brush. Anyways. So I put it on the apples of my cheeks, whatever that's supposed to mean. And I just blend, and I did the tiniest bit, you guys. I feel like this just puts life into you. You know, I feel like when you're doing your makeup, you become just like this blank palette, you know, after you put your foundation on. So naturally you have color to your cheeks. So when you put blush on, it kind of gives you life. And now time for highlighter. Woo woo. So I use this Becca Champagne Pop TBT. Um, I cracked it. It's really sad, guys. But I still use it because it's amazing. So yeah. And I've been using the same brush. This is the M501 Morphe brush. So I just put it like that. And I just kind of brush. Oh, it's hard to see. I wish I had a better camera so you could see the glow, you guys. Let me see. Maybe I could <laughs> grab a flashlight. Well, anywho, no flashlight, but... See you now? <laughs> I am so weird sometimes. Let's move on to the eyebrows. So I use the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Ebony cause I'm a dark haired girl. And I like to just brush my brows out. They are not, my eyebrows have been uneven. I feel like for the past, every time I get my eyebrows done. So I trust no one anymore. I do them myself and I still can't get them even. All right, done. Awesome. The thickness, yes. We like it thick. Stay hydrated. I like to then use this Anastas this Anastasia uh, brow gel. It just makes everything look way more perfect. And I've had this for like literally so many years now. I don't know how it hasn't run out. Oh my God, I didn't even highlight my forehead. What the heck? Once again, let's take this little M501 and I just like to dab right here. So I'm gonna just go over my favorite areas too. Take this little baby brush and it's an M506 and I'm gonna go back in with my champagne pop and I'm going to do 
my nose. I am going to do the eyes, which is my favorite part. Because we already put foundation on our eyes, you can go back in with the beauty blender and just go like this to smooth it out. And that's like really all you need. You don't need like a specific primer. If you like to use primer, of course, go ahead and use it. I just personally, I used to use primer all the time, but then I was like, I'm broke. And we're going to use this Jaclyn Hill palette and it's super dirty because I use it all the time. We're gonna go in with this E23 brush. So I'm gonna go in with this color right here and I literally just go over my entire eyeball in circular motions. Then we're gonna go in with this color. This is also the M535 brush. I always start at the outside and then as after like most of the color has been dispensed on my outer lid, the outer corner, I will go back in to the center or the yeah the inner corner part of my eye and just keep blending till you want to die and let's continue blending just for good luck now i'm gonna go in with a different palette i like to use a lot of different palettes just because I like that I just got this palette. This was my first palette purchase for a very, in a very long time, the 35H. Because once again, people, being in college, just trying to make a living and survive. It's hard sometimes. I hope I'm being relatable. Oh. I am gonna go in with this middle color right under the whites. It is called Ooh, let's see there's actually names shady behavior what I partake in a lot of the time okay now I'm taking this tapered is it called it's kind of like a cone more so it's the m441 it's a little more pointed and I love using this for the outer corner oh it's just so perfect <laughs> I'm gonna go in to, oh, I love this color. This one, it's like a dark burgundy. I'm going to be using the M433 brush. It's another Morphe brush. And we're just gonna go like literally right on top of that line there. Okay, we're gonna get a light. Okay, and we're back, and I got a little light, and we're gonna do a little more of that burgundy. Now we're gonna go in with this palette again. Oh, it looks so, why didn't I use this light the whole time? We're gonna use this brown color right here. And I'm gonna tap in with my M441 brush. And I'm just gonna go on this outer corner and do this whole thing in circular motions. And with this brown, I'm just gonna take it in and sweep very lightly towards the inner corner. Okay, so I feel like this is a good level of darkness for going out. You can always make it darker. Just kind of showing you my makeup routine, like what I enjoy doing, what I've always done. Do you ever just feel like crying? Just kidding. The B83 is what I use for my sparkle. And then I'm gonna use this Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray, and we're going to 
squirt, squirt. And this is so that I can get a beautiful, shiny look. Let's do this one right here. And I always forget what part I squirt. And I always like to wet my brush first because it makes it sparkly as all hell, people. Anyways, go in. Look at that. Wow. And I'm going to go on to my inner corner. Sabrina, you are not British. Stop talking in a British accent. It's probably like you're gonna have this little line right here. You can see that I just go back in with any one of my eyeshadow brushes. I'm using the smaller one and I just kind of sweep. What you don't want to do is dip right into the sparkle and just start sweeping because then your whole eyelid is going to be sparkly. You want to go right on the edge and sweep in so it's great, nice and gradient. This will make everyone drop dead. At you. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna use this Master Precise Maybelline New York eyeliner. Okay, and I just did like the tiniest wing. So now I'm gonna go in with this M522. All right, and take this color, and I'm kind of going in with what I did at first. I don't think I took that color at first. And I'm doing my under eye. I always do my under eye. I just feel like a naked mole rat when I don't do my under eye. I'm going to take the same color we did. Actually, I don't even remember. I just go in with random colors. I'm going to use this one, and I kind of go closer and closer to my outer V kind of area as I do my under eye because I like it to be darker on the outside with a smaller brush for the darker color. This is just a random brush. We're gonna take that same burgundy right there and go on my outer corner. I take the same brush that I was using for my original colors. So my um 522 brush and then I just go back and just make sure it's all nicely blended out. What we have so far. I am going to do my like inner corner here and I'm gonna go back with that same highlighter that I love. My nice little cracked Becca highlighter and now, before I do my mascara, I like to spray my face because when I do my mascara and then I spray my face, it gets all over my eyelid. Well, this is my Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray and I have to shake it because it comes out like a freaking, I don't even know, like a water hose. <sighs> and then... What I like to do is I take my beauty blender and I tap, 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 so that it just looks all nice. Cause I feel like I'll have watermarks and things like that on my face if I don't do this. We need to go in with mascara. This is Cover Girl Lash Blast Volume. I love Better Than Sex Mascara. By Too Faced. I love the knockoff of it because it's cheaper. <sighs> so, as you can see, we have a little blended face. We have a nice little brownish smoky eye. I really hope you guys like this video. This is my first video ever. Thank you so much for watching and listening. One last thing that I forgot to show you guys was me putting on lipstick. I love this lip color. It is Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals Matte Liquid Lipstick. It's called Boss. This is what I always use when I go out. 
once again, hope you enjoyed. Bye.